Hello everyone. Now I have got uh, 10 liters of mix and this is petrol or gasoline and used motor oil mix. Obviously someone was cleaning some parts and put everything together into one container. So here's the stuff. I run it through the centrifuge already but it still contains some petrol and I would like to recover this petrol today with my old petrol separator so let's start the recovery so I believe that similar process would be same for the crude oil I wouldn't recommend to run a crude oil that resembles some sort of porridge but relatively relatively thin crude oil would be good and I believe it's still possible to run it through the petrol separator first to remove all the light fractions and then deal with a thicker fraction and run it through the waste motor oil distiller so we've got approximately 10 liters of mix of the oil and petrol light we'll see what we're gonna get out of the steel Open up the supply valve, run the pump first. Now the distill is filled up, primed with a good diesel. So I decided not to drain this good diesel. We'll bring it up to the working temperature. And then this diesel will be replaced, displaced by the oil and petrol fraction will be removed and separated into the separate container and this container that originally had this mix gonna be used for the oil collection and later oil gonna be processed with oil distiller we're running the oil we open up the well for further priming filling up the machine with oil until we've got the flow from this particular tube We've got flow, shutting down the valve and switching on the electricity supply. Is our temperature. I believe we will need to put this content back into the container and process it further. Just process it along with the uh, rest of the mix temperature. It's climbing up. Plan to get some petrol production at approximately 100 to 110 degrees Celsius. Now it's only 51. So column, it's still cold. We have 128. We'll increase the flow. And I would need to stabilize temperature somewhere approximately 176, 180 degrees Celsius. Now, here we've got start of the production. I think I would need to collect it and check it. Temperature is 152, climbing up a little bit anyway that's still a long way towards 176 degrees so I let it increase separated oil without any petrol in it Petrol coming out a little bit cloudy, possibly due to some due to some water content, vapor, and because water has just 100 degrees Celsius temperature of boiling, and the petrol starts to boil at 42 degrees and up to 200 degrees, including all the fractions. So it's definitely brings. Pick some water 
the lid and later if you let it settle for a day or two it would become absolutely transparent it's still sitting on the bottom it's not floating so that indicates that we definitely got some petrol coming out the hydrometer shows 93 octane So this is the same petrol just few days later so it's no longer cloudy Now it's a continuous soil separation the soil contains no petrol anymore Here with production I don't know how many liters I would be able to recover maybe two three liters altogether after uh, after that I will run normal mix of diesel and petrol accidental mix from the petrol station still got plenty of mix over here so again it could be crude oil containing some petrol fraction in it and it can be processed exactly the same way Now it's a clean mix and I'll try to clean the steel with the clean mix. Also remove the petrol and separate the diesel but it's going to be collected in a separate container, clean container. I collected approximately 4 liters of uh, petrol. Now I would need to adjust the steel for the, for the mix, for the different mix. And there's a different composition and again the amount of petrol that can be obtained from the crude oil will depend on the actual amount or ratio or content of the petrol within the mix. Crude oil and other oils and other hydrocarbons. Now it's obvious that the flow of the actual mix is much higher so the petrol content is much higher in the, this particular petrol and diesel mix. Is the temperature we're running our distillation at? It's a petrol separation and it's cold, coming out really cold, and you can see even water condensation on the tube. Here's our diesel, it's still short of duty, but it's no longer oil, it's much thinner. Collected separately. This is what we've got in our container. Distillation is going to be finished very soon. So technically, this is the method of removing the petrol and other light hydrocarbons from the crude oil or oil petrol mix. It's a relatively easy, continuous process. Running through the continuous distiller to remove the petrol portion from the oil and then process oil in another machine and another machine like uh, oil distiller reformer retort pyrolysis retort whatever whatever you have so in my case i do this way i run it through this machine first removing all the petrol content and again to remove the petrol from the oil there is supposed to be petrol in the oil. If there is no petrol in the oil, you won't be able to remove anything. So don't uh, make a mistake. Please understand it from the very beginning. Read the description. I'm not removing petrol from the used oil, just the used oil. It's a mix of the oil and the petrol. In this case, it's been in used oil 
and some petrol that possibly been used for the cleaning some uh, engine parts or something it's been also mixed with the oil with the waste oil so i just run it through the centrifuge first remove all the dirt and then i run it through this machine and remove all the petrol now i've got just the oil used oil that i will process in the oil distill later okay this is it so far i made approximately five six liters of petrol i'm gonna use it either in my old car or in any of my petrol generators is a diesel not really clean but i've got really old diesel engines and uh, i will filter it and use it not a problem and this is it thank you very much